Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're going to be fixing a MacBook. We have a MacBook that's not turning on. So we're going to see what's wrong with this MacBook. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in my charger and see how many amps this MacBook is taking. We get a green light, which means Pippi 3v42 is present. However, it's only drawing 14 milliamps. Let's get the board out of this MacBook and try to figure out why it doesn't work. I do wonder how all this T2 chip nonsense is going to affect the Hackintosh community. Because there are people that would like to use a Threadripper or a, you know, a high-end Intel processor that, in a, you know, a nice, powerful machine that's not going to die on them for no reason at a reasonable price, but that also don't want to use Windows, but don't want to deal with Linux and the total lack of real software available for a lot of tasks. So it takes 196 milliamps for about a quarter of a second and then dies. So we're going to take a look at the microscope camera and see if anything on this board looks kind of funny. It's actually warm enough in my office that I had a very brief flash, like kind of hot flash. It's beautiful. I love the fact that my office is warm enough that I have short sleeves on. Hmm. So what I did here is before I bothered measuring or going around and, uh, you know, checking every single rail or anything like that, what I decided to do is just take a look at the board under the microscope. And you can see, uh, take, take a look at the Amscope microscope that I recommend below. That microscope is actually going to look a little bit better than mine because mine's been beat up over the years and, you know, moved from location to location and just kind of, yeah. But you can still see in this microscope, it's still good enough quality for you to clearly see that there's a problem over here that you may not be able to see with the naked eye. And this type of thing is going to be the difference between the dude that makes the money and the dude that don't make the money. See that? That little bit of green. Can you see it? Can you see it? Nope. But here, I love this thing. Love having a nice microscope. That teeny tiny shit stain over there. Where a little caterpillar walked on my board and took a shit right on my TPS 51980. And if you need a TPS 51980, don't look any further than store.rossmangroup.com, where you can buy TPS 51980s with fast shipping at a reasonable price. Once they're back in stock. We also have CD3215's C00 chips in stock. None of that CD3215B crap that doesn't work with the touch bar. We got the CD3215Cs in stock. That's right. Cs in stock. Pre-balled, too. All right, so we got that chip off the board. Now we're gonna clean out that little caterpillar shit. Looks like W. Preston is watching my stream on a MacBook. Are you watching the stream on a MacBook with 2011 with a dead GPU? And the caterpillar shit is now gone. Now we're going to use some Gootwick. Suck all that old nasty lead-free junk off the board. Just gonna resolder those two resistors that I accidentally wicked. Tin the pads. Whoop, whoop. Get some solder on the center pad, and we're gonna get ourselves a replacement chip. Never tried that hot air station in Kakper, but I may give it a try if enough people are interested. It's like pulling teeth to get different models of stuff from Quick. 
It's hard enough just to get them to send me bent nozzles. I need a CD3215, but I'm from Ghana. How can I get it? We ship to Ghana. I don't know what your local post office is going to do after I ship it, but we do ship to Ghana. Look at Time Warner dropping frames. Time Warner's dropping all the frames today. Nice and flat on the board. Okay, now we're going to see if we get ourselves a fan spin. Bend the knee, MacBook. Spin the fan. Yes! You've spun the fan. And that is how a little piece of caterpillar poop killed a MacBook. That's all it takes to kill a MacBook.